Hello, Earl Music here, United Country Real Estate out of Grangeville, Idaho, and I am super excited to bring to you Scotland Ranch. This is a fantastic property located in Idaho County. It's a little over 2,800 acres of contiguous land here. Um, you can locate it right off of Highway 162. You turn down Red Rock Road here, headed south. You'll come to the intersection with Lamb Road and you'll turn east down Lamb Road and you come right here to these locked gates and that's the end of the roads and so you're on to Scotland Ranch and your own private Idaho. Scotland Ranch is located here kind of uh, near Stites and Kuski but probably the closest town to drive to is be Kamei. A few thousand people there in Kamei. There's grocery stores, gas stations, kind of all the stuff you need. But to the south of it is Grangeville, Idaho. Grangeville, Idaho happens to be the county seat for Idaho County, the largest county in Idaho that's actually bigger than five of our U.S. states. And in our entire county, there's only one stoplight located right here in Grangeville. The only reason we have that stoplight is so that our kids know what a stoplight looks like when they go to a bigger city. But we're going to go back to Scotland Ranch here. Uh, we're going to zero in right in here as you come in through the gates. Um, I sold this ranch a few years back to, to Scott and um, he had some great ideas and uh, he got almost all the way through them. Unfortunately, Scott's run into some health problems and which has brought him to the decision to offer this fantastic property up for sale. But we're gonna start right here with the lodge. Uh, the lodge has uh, some hotel rooms upstairs. Um, there is a restaurant and a bar downstairs. There's outdoor eating there. It's just a fabulous building. Uh, really is very, very nice. Of course, if you'd like to go more, learn more information about all these properties, you can go to my website. It's UC idaholand.com and uh, we have more of the descriptions and photos of all these properties but I just wanted to go through and show you on the map kind of everything that we have here. Uh, right in here is a five station shotgun shooting range if you've uh, ever done that. It is a lot of fun and this one's very unique. It uh, has quite a drop off of elevation right there. It just has a fantastic view. Um, Right in here, you got a ski range. You can see all set up. The towers are sitting right in there. Um, this one right here is the pistol range. Uh, very cool little spot and also rim fire range. Uh, got a little houses set up and all kinds of uh, interactive targets. And then you've got your pistol range right there also. Right here's their mechanical building. Um, they've got a lean-to there. They can park, I think, three or four pieces of equipment or vehicles underneath roof. And then they've got some cold storage and some other storage inside of that building. We're going to drive down the little driveway right here. And we're going to come down. And these are three cabins. Um, have, again, fantastic views from these cabins. they got porches and everything. Uh, so to rent out... If you're going to use this as a guest ranch or a corporate retreat or just some nice place for relatives to come and visit you. Um, right in here, we actually have some farm ground. Uh, there is hay right here. This right now is uh, this year is in spring canola and normally it is in wheat. Um, but there is some of the farm ground here at Scotland Ranch. We're going to get into the nice spring fred pond right here. You can see there's a little tiny island here. There's got a deck out onto the, the pond and uh, just a cool little place to go hang out. There are fish there in the pond and, and of course the geese, geese and ducks love that area as well. Right here they have their poultry barn uh, and they also have the rabbits in there. And so they've got some uh, run around outside. It's all fenced off and uh, protected from any creatures that might like to try to get in there and bother them. This area here is their fenced in garden area and greenhouse. And so if you like to uh, enjoy the gardening and greenhouse, it's all set up and ready to go. Right in here is their shop. And this is a shop for anyone. I, if, if, if you love to tinker at all, this shop is just absolutely incredible. Has a radiant heating in it. Um, keeps it nice and warm in the winter. You can see these solar panels are all sitting there on the roof. And so there is power into this property, but they also have the ability to capture their own. Um, concrete floors. There's a woodworking shop in there, a metal shop. There's living quarters inside of this 
uh, area. There's some water storage going on in there. Just a fantastic shop set up very nicely. You can roll your equipment right in there and work on it in comfort. This here is where their fuel tanks are. Um, they're all set up and uh, with all the safety measures and all that. Uh, and the truckers love it. They can pull right in here, do the loop. They can dump their diesel and gasoline that they're doing it and then roll right back out of the property. Right in here we have the main house. Uh, nice, big, beautiful house, big garage on it here. Um, just recently built here in the last couple years and they got put the nicest of just about everything they could in the house. Uh, one of my favorite par parts of this house right here is this is all an enclosed porch. And in the evenings, you it's just a perfect place to have dinner. And the deer come flooding in right in here and they just sit in there and just graze right underneath you. And so you can sit there and eat dinner and enjoy the wildlife. We're gonna move right on over here. And as soon as I get my bearings again, oh, there we go. This is what I'm looking for. Right here is their barn. Uh, you got hay storage and stalls for the horses. This area is all fenced in for the horses right here. And so you got some feeders out here. Just a nice little setup if you want to bring any horses out here on your property. This roof area here is for the long distance shooting. Uh, you got a nice little covered area and they have some targets set up all over out here. Um, as far as a mile you can shoot out here on the property. This yellow line here represents the, the trail down into the canyon. Um, also here's some more hay ground. But we're gonna go back down in here and kind of follow it and takes you all the way down into the canyon here. Go through the trees down Seasonal Creek, and there is just animals all over this property, but it just dumps you right in here at Cottonwood Creek. And from here, you can turn left or right, but we're going to go west here and follow Cottonwood Creek all the way down in here. There, of course, are roads that split off of this too, but primarily follows Cottonwood Creek there and gets you clear down to the property. I actually had to stop here because there's a bit of a rock slide that happened right there. And so if you want to get any further on the existing road, you might have to clean up the rocks in that area, but gives you really great access to this property. Going back this direction, following Cottonwood Creek, and it takes you up into here. And there is just the most incredible rock formation right in here. And then right here is that grotto. If you've watched our videos at all, you can see it. There's a rock overhang and the Cottonwood Creek kind of pools up right there and provides just a nice spot to sit down, get cool and just enjoy, uh, enjoy the creek. Very, very cool. And if you've watched any of our other videos on here, uh, you can see Rhonda Rousey and her husband sitting right in that little grotto taking a swim. So uh, please watch our other videos. So that's kind of a little tour of Scotland Ranch. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have questions outside of what I've covered here, please give me a call. You can also go to my website, ucidaholand.com. This is a fantastic property. I can't even begin to describe all of it to you in a video, but uh, just wanted to give you a little sampling. If you're at all interested in it and love to come visit North Central Idaho, I would love to come give you your own private tour of Scotland Ranch. It'll take us all day but I'd love to take you out there. Give me a call. Appreciate your time. Thank you much.